Hey guys, it is Alex Angel. Thank you so much to my current and new subscribers. If you are watching my video for the first time, thank you so much for stopping by. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. That will help the channel grow. Um, I'm here to perform your first half of September 2019 tarot readings. What you guys will see in September is more intuitive messages in addition to the tarot messages and then also the angel card messages and the angel guidance uh, cards that I use as well. I hope you guys have an amazing September. Thanks. Hey Virgo, happy birthday. Welcome to your first house, babies. Um, the, this is for the first half of September 2019, and I am your host, darling, Alex Angel. How you guys doing? I hope you are enjoying your birthday season. All right, I'm sitting here, and I'm shuffling through the cards. You can't see them, but they're right here. Um, I will set my intention, dear God, beautiful angels, ancestors, and guides. Please bless our wonderful Virgos with a nice, amazing Virgo happy birthday message. All right. Being told to cut. And here we go, Virgo. Ooh, money, money, money. Look it, look it, look it. First of all, angels did not disappoint, okay? First and foremost is the Page of Pentacles, baby. Okay? So this is money. This is money coming. This is new money. Okay? This is a job offer. Um, I kind of feel like some of you may have already started a new job. Um, I kind of feel like some of you are in need of a new job. It is coming, darling. Okay? So be patient. Um... Angels are also saying two more rewards. So I do kind of feel like if you are starting a new job, starting a new career, starting a new business, um, you're exactly what you where you need to be, like as in, in that particular field. But then also, too, you'll make a lot of money in that field. Okay? Next up is the Wheel of Fortune, darling. The Wheel of Fortune. I love it. I love it. Uh, there's a little bit of a glare. Wheel of Fortune is... Not just a game show, but it is fortune. It is bonuses. It is rewards. I am going to do this for the first time on camera. I've never done this on camera. Many of you who've gotten personal readings from me before, you've heard me give you this advice. But Virgo, darling, I am going to give you this advice in saying play the lotto. Because I do kind of feel like some of you are going to come into a windfall of money. This feels like a lump sum. It does feel like a bonus. It does feel like, you know, money that's coming. It's, it's a chunk of money, say, for instance, um, that's coming from, angels are saying, coming from nowhere. I'm also doing this for the first time on camera by giving a prediction, right? This money feels like it's coming in after or on Labor Day. It could be Labor Day week. They're giving me 9-2, September 2nd, okay? If this applies to you, I'm going to need you to go ahead and update the comments with what money. We don't care about how much, okay, unless you're going to let us hold something, okay? But if you are blessed with any kind of lump sum, could you just please let me know? <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me know in the comments, <coughs> excuse me, that yeah, Alex, I was blessed, girl. Cool. Okay. The next card up is the Four of Wands. Okay. Angels are also saying, too, related to the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you also could pay off a house or could buy a house as well. Okay. The Four of Wands, the happily ever after, the I do, the yes, ma'am, the I do, the yes, sir. Okay. This is our, um, if you kind of look at this cards, you see how the, the wands are set up in kind of like a box formation. 
um, this is establishment, right? This is conclusion. This is completion. Not necessarily completion, but establishment, right? This is basically saying, okay, we just bought a new house. We done closed on a house. We moved in. Everything is great. This is a celebratory accomplishment. It usually refers to marriage, baby showers, um, graduations, you know, just something that, a, a, nah, I can't really say official because that term is relative, but you know, something that's pretty, it's a pretty significant accomplishment. So I do kind of feel like, especially with whatever, if say for instance, if you do come into this lump sum of money, yes, you may decide to, you know, pay off your student debt. You may decide to go to college. You know, you're gonna do something pretty significant uh, with this windfall of money. What I'm also getting to is, um, it just kind of feels like you, you make an investment in something, okay? Moving over, <clears throat> the next card up is the moon. And I'm getting like ridiculous glare, ridiculous glare, so I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> and that is my dog breathing in the background. That is not me. Okay, the moon card. This says to me, um, I feel like this is you and this is your energy. You know, Virgos, you guys do tend to be worry warts, so to speak. So I do kind of feel like you might have been in your feelings as of late. Um, and this is basically fear kicking your emotional asses, um, which may have caused some of you to be in a funk or doubtful or worrying or um, unsure about the next steps. Um, angels are saying, get a hold of yourselves. yourselves. It feels like you have been spinning, okay? Um, angels are saying it kind of feels like your thoughts and your worries are out of control and we want you to kind of get a hold of yourself. I'm sitting here and I'm looking this, looking at this card and I'm looking at the very bottom above the word moon and I'm just like, what the hell is a crab doing there? Okay. But the moon card represents crabbiness, right? Emotion, you know, emotional, um, you know, kind of instability, so to speak. Okay. So angels are saying this too shall pass. Um, it does feel like some of you are in high emotions. If you're not there, you could be approach, approaching this highly emotional uh, stage. Um, you know, if I were you all, I would kind of just sit it out. I would, you know, try to meditate as much as possible. Take you a nice, nice soothing, you know, warm bath. Go on and just sit it down, sat it down somewhere um, and, and let it pass. Okay. The last card up is the Seven of Cups. And again, I'm getting glare. There we go. A Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is a lot going on, darling, a lot emotionally. And that kind of is in line with the Moon card as well. It kind of feels like y'all just got a lot going on. Your heart is all over the place. You could be feeling extra sensitive. Um, you could be wanting to help everybody and pick up all the stray cats and dogs off the streets. Um, so again, in order to keep your house not full with a bunch of stray cats and dogs, we're going to need you guys to go on and set it down um, until this time period passes. Um, I do feel like this is kind of like Neptune's energy too. Neptune is the planet of fog, right? Which kind of causes confusion. This is that rose-colored glasses effect. There are a bunch of options. I don't know which one to choose. So Virgos. Don't do anything, okay? This is your running with scissors cards. This is Alex saying to you, if y'all don't go sit down, y'all gonna wind up bald headed with a haircut you can't stand, crying in the mirror because you done did something crazy, okay? So set it down, Virgo. We understand it's your birthday month and you can go turn up. You could turn up, but when you're not turning up, set it down, okay? So in addition to that, Angels are saying they want more. They want to know more. Um, stop being so nosy. Um, um, I do hear a specific question about school. How is school going to go? Um, how is this job going to go? Am I going to get this apartment? Are we going to get this house? Are we going to be able to move? Um, yeah, for some reason, I'm also getting, yeah, okay. All right, boom, that, that makes sense. Because I'm like, where are all these questions coming from? And angels just said to me, worry, they're worried. 
Um, angels are also saying this feels like eclipse residue. I know the eclipses were like last month or, you know, sometime around then. But this, you know, eclipses have uh, an effect 30 days before the eclipse and also 30 days after. So this does feel like eclipse residue, this kind of scatterbrain type energy. Um, so please understand that it's exactly that. It's scattered energy. Don't try to make decisions based on this energy. Don't try to navigate through it. It's just scattered energy. Allow it its time. Eventually, you know, things will start to settle down. Um, love also came up, right? Angels are saying, well, some of them also want to know about love. Um, I do feel like there are some of you that are in love. Angels are saying, you know, the love that they're in, they're not satisfied with the love that they're in. Um, and I kind of feel like it has to do with your perception of love. Um, it almost feels like you, Virgo, my picky friend, have a specific view of what love should be like. It should contain an L, an O, a V, and an E, okay? That's what love means to Virgo. It's very, very, very specific. The problem with that Virgo is because you are so specific, the parts of love, right, that, did, that are not specific to your expectations, you miss out on, okay? So I need for you to relax, okay? We want you to kind of move away from the very human versions of love, the L, the O, the V, and the E, okay? And we want you to open up your heart chakra. We want you to start feeling it, okay? For women, we're very emotional creatures, and a lot of times we want our love physically displayed to us. I love you, girl, okay? We want that, okay? But for men, they are not necessarily that emotional, or they're not that emotionally communicative, okay? So they may do it by buying you lunch or putting change in your oil in your car or getting you gas in your car, okay? This is the way men communicate love through survival, right? They give you love and keep you from dying. That, that's why, that's how we show you we love you. We try to keep you from dying. Okay, so for you, Virgo, specifically, who only wants it the way that they want it, we need for you guys to start to translate, understand, speak other languages of love and recognize how other, how love is shown to you in other ways, darling, because you're missing out on so much, baby. And we want you to get all that your heart can stand. All right. I'm also hearing <laughs> I'm hearing some of you complain about love. Well, he should be doing this and she should be doing this. Girl, boy, sit down. OK, because you weren't even alive or born when love was created. So you don't know what you're talking about when it comes to who should, how should and what kind of love they should give, give you. OK. And what's unfortunate again, Virgo, is that you're missing it and I don't want you to miss it. OK, so learn a new love language. All right, learn a new love language, learn how love is shown in different ways than you're used to. And when you do that, your world is going to open up, okay? You are going to be able to receive and interpret all kinds of new forms of love that you won't be able to breathe right because you'll be breathing and inhaling love at every moment, all right? Um, I'm also hearing too that some of you want to know about relationships and am I going to meet somebody? First of all, Virgo is this the sign that has no problem meeting somebody, okay? Virgos are one of the signs that will meet somebody in their sleep, okay? So, and I understand it's not necessarily meeting just somebody. It's also meeting the right person. Again, it has to do with your perception. What the hell a right person is to you and what that means to you, they could be somebody totally different, okay? So you need to sync up with your reality, okay? First of all, if you ask the universe through law of attraction, please let him be tall, dark, and handsome. He could be short, light, and, and a little challenged in the looks area, right? But he may be the love of your life. He may bring you or she may bring you more love than your heart will ever know and could desire, okay? So you have to choose between what you want and what your heart needs, okay? That's all up to you, Virgo. 
Okay, here's your angel card that came up. Friendship, we are in that part of, that's the part of the zodiac chart that you guys rule, okay? But this message here to me, to me says, spend a lot more time in this area, okay? Some of you tend to, tend to blow past it, bypass it, move past it, zoom past it, okay? There is so much love in this area. Um, what I'm also hearing too is that some of you guys may not necessarily be appreciating the friends that are in your life. So what we're going need to need you to do is go and have a three of cups moment. Go and grab some of your, your, your aces, your, your homes and homets. We're going to need you to go and grab them and appreciate them and love all over them and, and show them um, your appreciation and love for them. And that in return will you know bring that appreciation and love right back to you in a way that you ain't looking for, Virgo, by the way. So spend more time uh, getting to know people, spending time, uh, spending more time with your friends. Angels are also saying to me too that this could be a man's best friend as well. So it could be a domestic animal like a dog or a cat. All right, my Virgos, I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing birthday month. If you're interested in learning or knowing more specifically about your situation, and would like to book a personal reading, my contact details are below. Virgo, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. See you guys later. Happy birthday.